and everyone and thank you for your time uh congratulations of course for winning again this uh siege uh tournament twice in a row can you introduce yourself really quick like who is who in the guild um just so people know on the video i'm kisake i'm one of the guild leaders and our i guess main siege lead. well i'm tutor i guess i'm the newest here in the guild and I just do what he says. I'm Chris Oshizo. I'm actually the newest in the guild, I think. Oh, yeah, indeed. <laughs> Only two months. Well, never mind. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm also a food soldier, so I uh, just listen to what Kisaki wants to have killed. And yeah, you just go for it. Yeah, on Poseidon, <laughs> and he still does it. I'm Spyrangi. I'm also kind of new. So. Basically, I'm mirroring most of the things I need to use. Kisaki does everything. That's it. Who does everything? <laughs> Kisaki does everything. Yeah. You see it. No, they just put shoulders. <laughs> we're, just, we're just following. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Wait. That would mean the mistakes were also my fault. So yeah, they true. are. <laughs> Which mistakes? <laughs> Which I'm, mistakes? I'm not sure about this. Which mistakes? Oh, because I have your uh, stats from um, oh. this tournament and uh just overall like win rates and uh, yeah guild stuff so for the whole tournament you never went under the 87 win rate so 88 no 87 on known 90 on af legends and 88 on light hope so what's the secret to be so regular all the time from my perspective we try to do as much offense testing as possible mm -hmm. for the meta defenses and i think our off rate usually is better than the off rate of other guilds because we focus a lot on ruining our defenses like on a super high room quality um and it's basically the, you get the best testing from fighting the best defenses it's, i guess unknown or AF Legends, which we faced earlier in the in the um, in the tournament, they struggled a lot against the defenses we ran because they thought they had safe counters, but they weren't safe against our defenses. You can say like top as well, you know. I will not take it bad. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, Light Hope did. To me, Light Hope exceeded expe expectations by quite a bit. I didn't think you guys would be that good against us but uh for this tournament because the meta is there for a while but there was the introduction of the um, special bases did you have some brainstorming sessions or did you uh plan this a lot i know that not but <laughs> 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 what happened for you some reason not... our leaders just didn't know that the special bases increases your takes i'm, I'm blaming kisaki for that by the way <laughs> yeah I, I actually am to blame here. Yeah. Nah, I did read I, I did read the note like three times, but I I don't know, I didn't catch it. Overall, uh, now that you experienced it, what did you think about the special bases? The stat swapping was really nice and the attack by reduction. So okay. more of this type that. More more rules, uh, more different uh special rules. Or even more than one rule. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and rotate it, maybe season-wise, or add some, I don't know. Okay, and to end, uh, like, last question. Um, in this uh, season, what kind of surprise in the um, bracket was there? When that Mura was kind of a surprise, they uh, took out your main rival, um, Squad <laughs> Zero. And uh, do you think in the next season it's going to happen again? Or what do you think? I think New Era was really solid the whole season already. We yeah. knew they were already strong in the last fights we met them. So actually against Doubt, I already predicted them better because Doubt was struggling a bit the last season and they were doing really well. But I think it was still a surprise that they beat Squad Rear. And yeah, I think they didn't play really well against Lido because they were struggling with the Twins. Mm -hmm. uh, but in general, I think they were the biggest surprise of everything. The rest was quite... I think most predictions were quite on point, for me at least. Okay, guys, that was it for the questions. Now let's go to uh, the real interesting part. So, uh, guys... Hmm? 
The tier list? Yeah, guys, we will need your rank. <laughs> you are the pros. Guys, uh, we will do right now uh, with your input, by the way. I'm not saying anything. Uh, what for you uh, was the tier list of season four siege tournaments? Um, yeah, what you think is here 100 to 50, let's say, and you explain why. Uh, by which, I guess we start by the top, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start by the top, I guess. So I, I, I personally would say 100% is definitely the most scary one and popular ones, which like goes along, right? Right now. But also the most available ones, right? Yes. With uh, the least restrictions. Um, I personally definitely would put up Kakano. So, uh, so Kakan is just super good. He has a speed lead. He is the fire unit to have right now. Uh, the most annoying one to counter. Uh, he's basically everywhere and, and obtainable, and really good at what he does. So, and yeah. the, the issue with Kakano is he is really, really difficult to control. Like you can't just you. C yeah, there are some constellations where you just can tank, uh, tank him or focus on a tank. Molly. Molly. Yes. Yeah. Even though she's not obtainable, yeah. she defines this meta more than any other unit, I think, for us. Mm -hmm. The RNG she brings is just in Yeah, she just straight up counters a lot of first turn counters. No. Uh, you can't bring copper anymore or dozer. Um, how about Fuki? Also in the hundred percent? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he needs to be up there. <laughs> for sure. How <laughs> many of those guys did I kill this season? I don't know. <laughs> but <wait much. laughs> All of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, F Fuki is just um, historically that the best defense meta units always were super tanky units that had defense breaks for their own so you couldn't easily cleave them and slow clearing them had some issues in like basically facing RNG the longer it takes to cleave them <clears throat> it was like back then for Molong even now for Molong Fuki is kind of the new Molong China Martina gains higher in value um, when you can spam them in, in one guild right yeah I would and rotating runes and yeah builds basically for low switch maybe they are on the top but not um, against top four here so so yeah I, I would actually aim to put them at 90 because they have yeah. so many so many limitations of what they need to be good mm -hmm. <clears throat> I would actually put them on 95 because they are so insanely strong if you have lots of them and you have so many different kind of builds that you can use build them on but i would actually i would rate them probably 95 when you use them properly like swapping runes uh clearing death locks like when you really really try out them otherwise when you don't do it you can basically counter after first information yeah and add triana to it because mm. oh, 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 well, I would just leave it at 90, to be honest. Because for most people, they, they won't be those hard carries as for light up basically only, right? It's only light up that can spend them that hard. Mm. As, as for the 95 tier, I would personally aim for the meta defenses we had. Like, we had Tyrannus, right? Yeah. He definitely was... The, the big <coughs> upcomer for this uh, tourney. Kinky. 100%. He was so disgusting. Yeah. Um, mm, 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 mm. Better. Yeah, just wanted to say better. Yeah. Uh, Even though he's, he was really strong early season, but because it was used so much, it went a bit out of meta end of season. And in the tourney, but I think in general was still a really strong unit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I would even put Sylvia there, to be honest. Because I think out of all of the LDs, LD5, she might be the strongest. And she was kind of the <laughs> the MVP of the final for Lighter, I think. But Sylvia has the issue you have to pair them with really specific units, which are also usually LD like Sylvia plus Iris is really strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or may maybe put her rather at 90. Yeah, okay. I, guess, uh, I, would, I would agree yeah. actually that she's more than 90 yeah. than 95. Because in the defense, it was mostly Kinky and Iris doing the job, thanks to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's the issue of Sylvia. You need like really specific LD units, mm. which aren't obtainable. So yeah. you can't, can't really spam that defense when you could like imagine a full tower of it. Mm. Where do you put Tianlang? Yeah, Tianlang yeah, is more 90. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he can't just cleave on his own. And he has a super good kit for defense, but I don't think anyone really made him work that well this season, right? Yeah. Um, but he's he, also he, the Fuki Mater, right? So, so really well, brings that break. To be honest, Le, piece, uh, Le One Piece had a lot of defense because of his two uh, Tian Leng defenses. And yeah. in, in the semi final, I think he got like a seven or eight defenses. So it was pretty good. Yeah, for us, then, I think we had like. 20% win rate on ours in the first two rounds. So they, they were doing really well, actually. So 90, 90 is pretty fair, I think. I would yeah, think him in 90. 90. Yeah. In, in this tournament, Molong was super popular and actually was doing super well as well, right? But Molong was 90 because of um, Molly, right? Yeah. No, right. There were, yeah, I mean, there, there were a lot of uh, defense combinations yeah. of him. We had some so. Molong beta Fuki as well, that is some defenses. Uh, so yeah. I think he was or let different. Molong is uh, 90 because uh, he is paired with the uh, 195s hmm. usually. Hmm. She did fall off a bit yeah. because of Molly, basically. I think and Tyrannus and Molly is just a better pairing. Uh, but she she's a solid 85. Yep. Yeah. yeah, but I, I do feel like it's, it's he deserves 85 because it's just not it, you know. It's not. <laughs> He's not Kakano, basically. Yeah, <laughs> so it's... it's... <laughs> this way it's 85. No. And I think... What do, what do you guys think about Praha? I think she deserves 85. Yeah. yeah. She's Does an old she? unit. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. She she passed so well with, like, Kakano and Savannah and Thessarion. In terms she of pairings, yeah. She, she kind of... She definitely is the best support for five star after Molly and Beta. Are we playing in the same server, by the way? Because I never faced any Valentis. I, really? <laughs> <laughs> we have Valentis. You're not farming backlines enough. Ah, oh, yeah, maybe yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the more you have to face these like Gianna defenses, the more you will lose. I, I think with this like Sierra Rayo comp, Gianna is super super good still. And in that I would actually for the same reasoning I would add Cadiz to 75 to be honest. Yeah. Because with Kakano he is really strong. Even though he's kind of cleavable like Bella, I think she he, and he, he benefits a bit less from artifacts than Bella. But his branding is so unique mm. because it changes targeting of the AI already. Um, and it's funny because people forget it that branding works similar yeah. as Deathbreak. Go quickly -ish through it with Chilling. I think Chilling deserves a 70. Because I'm 100% convinced that if Legends had any other opponent, Chillings would have won them the siege in the in the yeah. journey um and it's really difficult to pull out the surprise on this matter yeah so he, he was definitely good i like that um i think in addition to that we can add vigor and Ashia probably in the same rating and um wouldn't you five? rate Ashia uh, one below vigor 
No. To be honest, not. Because Ashia worked for so many guilds. Uh, because of the strip. Vigor works as well, but like they fill different roles, right? They seem similar, but one is a more offensive approach with a strip and Kakano, and the other one goes more defensive and like on destroy sets, also with Kakano. They both work pretty well. But you could see for the for the sake of spammability, Asia was a used uh, like Asia was used a lot at Fossa. Uh, who else is relevant here? Or Rowak because we Well Rauk Sierra is basically one defense threat. With Jenna? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but not on the same level, right? Rayok and Sierra yeah. are Oh yeah, no. Too. We you can work. also pair Gianna with Kakano and Triana or similar. I, I would probably add those two either to 60 or 70. Sierra or Rayok and Rayok. I think I would put them both to 60. Yeah, yeah it's probably because fun. yeah. The yeah. only way they still really work is with the Gianna. <clears throat> and because yeah. Gianna is so rare. Mm. I agree even too. that defense is very comfortable at once. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Um, one of the replacements of GM. So guys, uh, last step. This is the defense stuff, but what would you recommend for people like, okay, you know what, if you have to eat this and you have to build units, uh, what would be the go-to units to kind of build a deck for Siege? We should. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's just do it. I agree with what you just said. Lucian is the best. Uh, are you? The number one. <laughs> Yeah. Also, Lucian has the um, yeah the hidden ability that you he negates some defenses by default. Yeah, true. You can you can't simply set many defenses which are looking really good on paper because Lucian exists. Lulu to build an offense. Uh, yeah, actually put Lulu in the offense one because she is yeah. for defense mm. anyways. Uh, yeah. Basic in our defense uh, stuff and it still My works. Medicine. Yeah. I think it still works sometimes. Uh, oh, my. Copper does <laughs> if you... Also, also uh, one upside of Wendy is he doesn't necessarily require uh, skill ups. Ah, yeah, true. Yeah, you can just. When you pull 10, you can build 10 and. Mm -hmm. It's done. <laughs> or yeah, actually, Verder Hill. Yeah, Verder Hill. Yeah. Verder Hill, yeah. Yeah, but the hidden rare call one of the. Um, everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah everyone you can has... substitute Garo, but Verde. Yeah, let's take the rogue. Uh, Shaman, the light griffin. Yeah, definitely deserves a spot. Or Martina, in general. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. Thanks, you guys. Uh, I hope <laughs> that was fun for you to do. Uh, if you have any questions, people in the chat or remarks, do it in the comments and uh, see you next season. Maybe with them again, if they win every season from now on, or let's no. see. <laughs> Choose. No.